Hello and welcome to another episode of Behind the Music featuring uh, the track I did last time called Over Again. We're going to talk a little bit about it. This will be a shorter video than most of my other ones because there's not really much to talk about. Uh, most of these chord progressions came straight from ideas from Dead Mouse chord progressions. You can look them up as I said before. You can go to Chordify. Uh, but what I really wanted to talk about was the inspiration and how I was able to pull off a polyrhythm. So if you're not familiar with what a, what a polyrhythm is, a polyrhythm is a rhythm on top of another rhythm that sounds like it's in a different time signature. For example, let's say our song is in 4-4, four, four, which it is. It's just, it's labeled in 2-4, but I'm, we'll talk about that in a second. A polyrhythm, in this case, is going to sound as though it's perhaps in the like 6-8, over 4-4 four, four or something like that. And in this case what we have is uh, two eighth notes with an eighth note rest followed by an eighth note with an eighth note rest then two eighth notes and then the same thing an eighth note rest two eighth notes and an eighth note rest. So what you end up with is dun 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 over and over again. Okay uh, and that's really it's simple to understand. Um, That's your polyrhythm. So the way the polyrhythm is set up is in here. Go to rhythm, two eighth notes, eighth note rest, and then an eighth note at the end. And then over here we have an eighth note, eighth note rest, then two more eighth notes. And then here we have an eighth note rest, two eighth notes, and then an eighth note rest. And then it repeats after that point. Then we're going to have the next rhythm, which is two eighth notes, an eighth note rest, and an eighth note. We've already seen that, that was the first one. So really this is copied over again. See what I did there? Um, yeah, really clever, right? So the name of the track is called Over Again, and the reason because of that is uh, this polyrhythm repeats over again. And so I just wanted to kind of <laughs> giggle at myself at my naming conventions. Anyway, um, there's not much to say by way of the chord progression. If you're curious about the chord progression, it came from, I believe it was like um, Polaris or something like that. One, one of Dead Mouse's tracks, it's, it's his basic chord progressions, uh, you know, going from G sharp minor to C sharp minor, then B major, then G sharp minor again, and then that repeats. And then um, there's, there's really not a whole lot to talk about in the chord progressions. However, what I did want to talk about is the fact that this starts off in 2-4. And why is it in 2-4? Well, the track is actually supposed to feel like it's in 4-4. But the reason why I did 2-4 is so that I could, without having to split chords, I could do um, one chord every two beats instead of one chord every four beats and then having to split chords. And the reason for that, as we talked about last time, was that you can't do this, you can't do non-standard um, melody writing unless the uh, chord progression is completely unsplit. As you can see, if I were to split this chord progression right here, it's going to switch this back to a standard uh, melody theme. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted it to have a unique theme that was not the standard. I wanted it to have the question answer question. As you can see there, it just did it back, switch it back to standard. And there's no way to switch it back to question answer question without it unsplitting the chords. So it's a little bit of a limitation with Orb Composer, but the way around it easily, if you just know that you're going to do uh, chord changes on beat two only, for example, or beat, I'm sorry, beat three, beat one and three, these are my chord progression changes. Um, then that's easy enough to do. You just do two four time, and then you can do that. If you want to get even further with it, you can change this to one four time, and you can change on any beat that you want at any time throughout the song, and just have really long, you know, uh, th themes. For example, like if I if I did that with this one, I would change it to one four. So now I have it set to 16 bars of one four time, which really, if you're doing that in four four, one two three four, one two three four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's four bars of four. So that's a four bar melody. Uh, and so it's kind of the limitation on how you can do that. And then you can change notes or change chords every uh, beat without having to split your chords up. Um, that way you can do the question and answers and things like that that you want to do. 
So uh, that's really all there is to talk about in this track. I really am interested. If you have any questions about this track, any in particular, what the inspiration was or how it came about, but I, I think that pretty much covers it. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to talk about. You can go listen to the track up in the top left-hand corner of the screen. There's a link. Uh, there'll also be a link at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, really, we're not talking about drums. I'm not going to go over that again. But the the inspiration for this track was Dead Mouse, and it was really simple enough to kind of create that polyrhythm and then lay over it some melody, and then lay over it some pads and things like that, and everything else is in four four time while the polyrhythm just continues over again through to the end of the piece. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit shorter than my other ones, so I apologize, but there's really not much to talk about in this one. It's a very simple track, and it's really just a, a demo of doing polyrhythms in Orb Composer. Um, and if you have any questions, please, again, leave them in the comments below, and I'm happy to answer you. So thank you very much for watching, and I've been Benjamin with Hexachords. See you next time. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, give us a like. And if you want to get your copy of Orb Composer, click the Buy Now button on the screen. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And you can also join our Discord community by clicking the link in the description. Thanks for watching.